And now, my son, I have shown you everything, and the law of all the stars of the heaven is completed. And he showed me all the laws of these for every day and for every season of bearing rule, and for every year and for its going forth and for the order prescribed to it every month and every week and the waning of the moon which takes place in the sixth portal for in this sixth portal her light is accomplished and after that there is the beginning of the waning which takes place in the first portal in its season till 177 days are accomplished reckoned according to the weeks 25 weeks and two days she falls behind the sun in the order of the stars exactly five days in the course of one period such is the picture and sketch of every luminary which uriel the archangel who is their leader showed to me and in those days the angel Uriel answered and said to me, Behold, I have shown you everything, Enoch, and I have revealed everything to you that you should see this sun and this moon and the leaders of the stars of the heaven and all those who turn them, their tasks and times and departures. And in the days of the sinners, the years shall be shortened, and their seed shall be tardy on their lands and fields, and all things on the earth shall alter, and shall not appear in their time, and the rain shall be kept back, and the heaven shall withhold it. And in those times the fruits of the earth shall be backward, and shall not grow in their time, and the fruits of the trees shall be withheld in their time, and the moon shall alter her order, and not appear at her time. And in those days the sun shall be seen, and he shall journey in the evening on the extremity of the great chariot in the west, and shall shine more brightly than accords with the order of light. And many chiefs of the stars shall transgress the order prescribed, and these shall alter their orbits and tasks, and not appear at the seasons prescribed to them. And the whole order of the stars shall be concealed from the sinners, and the thoughts of those on the earth shall err concerning them, and they shall be altered from all their ways. Yes, they shall err and take them to be gods, and evil shall be multiplied upon them, and punishment shall come upon them so as to destroy all. And he said to me, Observe, Enoch, these heavenly tablets, and read what is written there, and mark every individual fact. And I observed the heavenly tablets and read everything which was written there, and understood everything and read the book of all the deeds of mankind and of all the children of flesh that shall be upon the earth to the remotest generations. And then I blessed the great Lord of the King of glory forever, in that he has made all the works of the world. And I extolled the Lord because of his patience and blessed him because of all the children of men. And after that I said, Blessed is the man who dies in righteousness and goodness, concerning whom there is no book of unrighteousness written, and against whom no day of judgment shall be found. And those seven holy ones brought me and placed me on the earth before the door of my house, and said to me, Declare everything to your son Methuselah, and show to all your children that no flesh is righteous in the sight of the Lord, for he is their creator. One year we will leave you with your son till you give your last commands. 
that you may teach your children and record for them and testify to all your children. And in the second year, they shall take you from their midst. Let your heart be strong for the good shall announce righteousness to the good. The righteous with the righteous shall rejoice and shall offer congratulation to one another. But the sinners shall die with the sinners, and the apostate go down with the apostate. And those who practice righteousness shall die on account of the deeds of men, and be taken away on account of the doings of the godless. And in those days they ceased to speak to me, and I came to my people, blessing the Lord of the world. And now, my son Methuselah, all these things I am recounting to you and writing down for you, and I have revealed to you everything and given you books concerning all these. So preserve, my son Methuselah, the books from your father's hand and see that you deliver them to the generations of the world. I have given wisdom to you and to your children that they may give it to their children for generations, this wisdom that passes their thought. And those who understand it shall not sleep, but shall listen with the ear that they may learn this wisdom, and it shall please those that eat thereof better than good food. Blessed are all those who walk in the way of righteousness and sin not as the sinners, in the reckoning of all their days in which the sun traverses the heaven, entering into and departing from the portals for thirty days with the heads of thousands of the order of the stars, together with the four which are intercalated which divide the four portions of the year which lead them and enter with them four days. Owing to them, men shall be at fault and not reckon them in the whole reckoning of the year. Yes, men shall be at fault and not recognize them accurately. For they belong to the reckoning of the year and are truly recorded forever. One in the first portal and one in the third and one in the fourth, and one in the sixth, and the year is completed in 364 days. And the account there is accurate, and the recorded reckoning there exact. For the luminaries, and months, and festivals, and years, and days, has Uriel shown and revealed to me, to whom the Lord of the whole creation of the world has subjected the host of heaven. And he has power over night and day in the heaven to cause the light to give light to men, sun, moon, and stars, and all the powers of the heaven which revolve in their circular chariots. And these are the orders of the stars, which set in their places and in their seasons and festivals and months. And these are the names of those who lead them, who watch that they enter at their times, in their orders, in their seasons, in their months, in their periods of domain, and in their positions. Their four leaders who divide the four parts of the year enter first, and after them the twelve leaders of the orders who divide the months and for the 360 days, there are heads over thousands who divide the days. And for the four intercalary days, there are the leaders which sunder the four parts of the year. And these heads over thousands are intercalated between leader and leader, each behind a station, but their leaders make the division. And these are the names of the leaders who divide the four parts of the year which are ordained. 
Milkiel, Helamelic, Melijal, and Narel. And the names of these who lead them, Adnarel, and Ejesusiel, and Elomiel. These three follow the leaders of the orders, and there is one that follows the three leaders of the orders, which follow those leaders of stations that divide the four parts of the year. In the beginning of the year, Melkajal rises first and rules, who is named Tameni and son, and all the days of his dominion while he bears rule are 91 days. And these are the signs of the days which are to be seen on the earth in the days of his dominion. Sweat and heat and calms and all the trees bear fruit and leaves are produced on all the trees and the harvest of wheat and the rose flowers and all the flowers which come forth in the field but the trees of the winter season become withered. And these are the names of the leaders which are under them, Barkale, Zelebsel, and another who is added ahead of a thousand called Hilu Jasif. And the days of the dominion of this leader are at an end. The next leader after him is Helamelik, whom one names the Shining Sun, and all the days of his light are ninety-one days. And these are the signs of his days on the earth, glowing heat and dryness, and the trees ripen their fruits and produce all their fruits ripe and ready, and the sheep pair and become pregnant, and all the fruits of the earth are gathered in, and everything that is in the fields and the wine press. These things take place in the days of his dominion. These are the names and the orders and the leaders of those heads of thousands, Gidijal, Kiel, and Heel, and the name of the head of a thousand which is added to them, Asphale. And the days of his dominion are at an end.